Hey, thanks for stopping by. Check out the description below for more details on how to build this cutting board. All right, so the maple boards I got are not too bad. They're uh, S2S, so they're sanded and planed on both sides. But these guys I got in the scrap bin. This is walnut, got it for a bargain, three bucks a pound. And it is very curved. So to take care of that, I have this jointer jig. I'll show you how that works. So you can see here the big curve in this board. There's a big gap right there and a big gap right there. If I were to just take that board without the joiner jig and run it through the table saw, well then this side wouldn't be straight. It would have a curve to it because I couldn't have a straight edge on the uh, fence here. All right, now that I have a nice, clean, straight edge, I'm gonna take that up against my table saw fence, which I've already measured out to be one inch there, and make a bunch of strips. So I like to use Type Bond 2 uh, wood glue with my cutting boards, but a lot of people prefer Type Bond 3. Both are safe to use with cutting boards. I just like the thicker consistency of Type Bond 2. Uh, however, Type Bond 3, it does a great job. It has a slower dry time and it's more water resistant, so it's a great option if you don't want to feel rushed when you're applying your glue. Here I'm adding a couple sacrificial boards to avoid leaving clamp marks on the piece. And then I always like to use calls which are one by three boards wrapped in packing tape to help align the boards. I then let the glue set overnight and scraped off all the excess glue with a paint scraper. Then I took it over to my awesome uncle's house to get it planed because I still don't have a planer. All right, after doing some math, I decided I'm gonna go, I wanted to go an inch and a half thick, but that's not gonna quite be enough to get what I want. I want a 15 inch long cutting board. So I'm gonna go just shy of an inch and a half, about an inch and three eighths. Then I'll have enough to do that 15 inch cutting board. Got to give another shout out to my uncle who gave me this amazing belt sander. It really helped make for quick work sanding up this cutting board. Now you might be thinking, why not just send it back through the planer? Well, sadly, planers and end grain boards, they don't get along. There's a big risk of turning that planer into a bomb if the blades on the planer catch the end grains wrong. Here I'm just making sure that the board lies flat. Now it's ready to get sanded with 120 grit and finally a 220 grit. Whew, that's a lot of sanding. But that is smooth like butter. Mmm, that is satisfying. Here I popped in a chamfer bit and routed all the edges. After a little hand sanding, this beauty was ready for a few coats of oil and a coat of wax. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.